Doodlebug. Today, we will compare the M805 with the Pilot 823. Bite! Okay, so I noticed you guys like videos when things are compared, so I thought let's compare some things. Here they are, two pens. We'll do a few different categories. First up is going to be size. They're close, let's see. So, the 823 is a little bit longer when the pen is fully capped. How about just the pen body? Let's compare. Maybe these are two kind of higher-end pens you're looking at next level ones and weren't sure which one to get. Maybe this will help you with that decision. So, you know, pretty close. You can see the uh, pilot's a little bit longer. Uh, I think it's just it looks like the section's a little bit longer. Uh, but other than that, they're very similar, even where the bands are in the back, where the threads are in the front. It's very similar there as well. Let's have a look with it posted. Uh, with both these pens, I typically write with them posted. That's my personal preference. Of course, yours is your own. Have another look. It's even closer now. Palette's still a touch longer. But uh, I guess this one here just posts a little bit deeper. There you go. Size. Next up, nibs. Let's have a look at those. They're both nice. They're both gold. The uh, Pilot, I'm not sorry, the Pilot, the Pelican, of course, I got in the two-tone. This is an M805. You can tell by the color on the band. But I like that two-tone so much, I got in touch with Cult Pens when I got it and requested I get the two-tone. So, again, this is a personal preference. They're both really pretty uh, looking nibs, similar size. Um... I'm just a little more of a fan of the Pelican design, but nothing wrong with the Pilot as well. They both have quite a few options, so <laughs> they're expensive options, but you can get different nibs for this guy and also the Pelican. I feel the Pelican, it's easier to buy uh, the nibs more readily, but uh, you could also, with the Pilot, you could get a uh, FA nib in the size uh, 15. I think that's the, this is the size 15. My other Pilot I have, the 912, I think is a size 10. You can get an, you can buy an aftermarket nib, well not aftermarket, a after purchase or whatever. Um, you can buy an FA nib, the size 15 to fit this guy. Um, and of course, if the feed isn't up to up to snuff, you can get an aftermarket feed to help that sucker flow really well as well. But that's kind of a big win there too. But um, yeah, they're both really nice nibs. The feed designs are obviously different. But there you go, nibs. Next up is looks. I don't know if one can win over the other. Um, they look very different. German, Japanese, very different style. Um, that's a personal preference thing, but they both look very nice. The uh, design is really good. So it's more of a classic design, but this Pelican design has been around for a long time as well. But they both look really nice. I think if I can get in focus, let's try to focus it. That's a little better. Here you go. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, I got some scratches on mine. That's my own fault. Um, but a nice clip. The clip works well. It's very functional. Give you a good look at the pen. You know, it looks nice. It's a nice looking pen. I'm not in love with brown pens, but this one I think looks quite nice. So uh, this is going to be a tie from the get go, but because it's total personal preference, you might think this thing just looks much sharper. And there's not, you know, you might be right, you might be wrong, that's up to you. But, you know, same things on the cap band. I'm having trouble with focus today. Let's see if we can get that again. There we go. You know, nice writing on there. Good design. Nice threads, all that good stuff. So, um, as far as looks, that's what they look like. I don't know what, which one wins, that's up to you as well. Thought I'd give you some close-up shots. The follow-up on the looks, though, is options. And that is where there is a clear winner which in this case would be the Pelican. So with the Pilot, you get this amber color and like a smoky gray color. I think there might have been once like a clear demonstrator, something to that effect. Um, but this is, as far as options, it is more limited. You do have, you know, options on nibs, of course, we already talked about that. But as far as the overall look of the pen, not much there. With the Pelican, there's a lot more. So many more colors. Um, you have the option whether you like the gold or the, the um, sort of rhodium, not palladium, yeah, rhodium trim. You can do that. So, uh, and sometimes there's specialty ones that come out. So definitely a win there for the Pelican 
on options if you like different colors and and all that kind of stuff pelican gets the win let's talk about build quality i would call this one a tie they're both built very well um the materials you can feel they're just you know you think this is like a brown plastic pen it's very nice plastic or <laughs> whatever material they use it feels very nice in the hands you can tell right away when you pick it up it's quality the threads are really super smooth even if you only put a few thread like one thread in there's barely any play build quality is good on everything even how the nib and feed fit together threads on the um, vacuum filling mechanism just Everything on the Pilot is built exceptionally well, really good, no issues whatsoever when it comes to build quality. Same is for the uh, Pelican as well. Let me just put this back on. And just for reference, maybe a subcategory is nib uh, pen uncapping speed. One, two rotations. Pelican has one, so there's a mini win for the Pelican there. Just one rotation and the job is done. Um, build quality here though too is really good that you know this the threads aren't quite as tight as the uh, pilot so sub win on the pilot for the threads but the threads and the piston are really good um the motion i'm not going to do much because it is inked this one isn't yet i will in a moment um, but the piston mechanism is really good the threads on the cap are good uh, the nib you can unscrew it as well uh, i'll get to that a little later you can unscrew it as well those threads are good so yeah, materials, I don't, you know, I've heard issues where people have little bubbles or discrepancies in the bands. I don't have any whatsoever. So, uh, you know, I'm fortunate that way. So, but yeah, build quality on both of these, that's a tie. They're both really, really good. Another category is cleaning. That's something you got to do with your pen all the time. Maybe I don't think that gets enough attention because um, that's a big component of, you know, using your fountain pens is cleaning them, whether it's to change inks or just to store them and keep them clean. So uh, the win on that one, I think, would go to the Pelican. It's really not that bad. You know, a lot of people really complain about you can't get this thing fully clean. And there is some truth to that. Um, but having like a tiny little mist of water in there after you clean it out isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, I think we all got to calm down with, with that, with the pens, with the OCD-ness, because it is easy to go crazy on your pens. But, uh, you know... You just pull it back and you just roll up a Kleenex and just stuff it in there and wipe it around. And, you know, you can get a little bit behind uh, the seal there, but it's it's not that much. So cleaning it is, it's, you know, it's not quite as easy as a piston filler, I would say. But um, it's still pretty, pretty decent. It's not that bad for the, uh, for the Pilot. And then for the Pelican, you know, I'm not going to do it now, but you just screw, unscrew. But one bonus feature on these ones is it does unscrew really easy. So you just, you know, to make things even easier, you can just screw the nib right out and helps it with cleaning even better. And also that helps with servicing too. So you can just put a touch of grease in there. So I think it is a little bit easier to clean the Pelican over the Pilot. Um, the fact it's the demonstrator and you will have little dots of water or ink that can get in there. So if you're super OCD, that might drive you nuts about the pen. So you would pick this one over that, but they're both pretty good, but I'll give a slight win to the Pelican. Next up, we're going to talk about writing, uh, wetness and feel. So in order to do that, we finally do have to ink this one up. So let's just do that real quick to get it ready because we're going to have to do some writing. So I thought I'll just add that in here just as a quick one. Uh, that's a Robert Oster ink in there as well. So I thought let's do both Robert Oster inks to be kind of square on on comparison not that they're identical but usually the same brands behave similarly there we go so just fill that up i'm always a little cautious pushing the uh, piston filler down you do have to give it a go um, and you're just hoping that you don't i don't know it slips out of your hand as you're pushing down and then you knock the ink over and it goes everywhere there is a little bit of apprehension there every time i fill it but you get used to it but uh Every time it's there. So anyways, there we are. We're finally filled up. So I'll just give that a second. And then uh, let's talk about, let's start off with, uh, with feel. So this one here, this is an extra fine. And the pilot is a fine, so they're actually fairly close. So 
let's talk about here. We got the Pelican. M805. That's an extra fine. So we'll do like a line width comparison. Quick little writing sample. I have no idea what to write. She sells, she sells. By the seashore, let's do that. Okay. So as far as feel, I mean, it's an extra fine, so it's not amazing. It's not going to blow your mind. If you want like a nice smooth feel, I would recommend like kind of go medium and up, but it does its job as an extra fine, not scratchy at all. You know, I don't like a butter smooth. It's tough to get butter smooth and extra fine. I do like a touch of feedback. So the feels all right with that one, but again, it's an extra fine. So it's not amazing or anything like that. Here we got the pilot. This isn't a fine. She sells, she sells. I'll talk about it while I'm writing. Hopefully I can do both at the same time. Um, the pilot is a bit scratchier. Now, um, it just might be my nib. I've heard other people talk about the, their pilot finds and they don't have any issues whatsoever. So I feel it's a one-off, but it's just a little bit scratchier than what I would like. Um, and I'll just do it right here. Another one, just so we can have them right side by side. Okay, so let's just compare. Um, I'll do a witness comparison in a second, but as you can already see, the pilot's going to win that one. But um, yeah, that's why I want to do it right here, just to get them in the same shot. They're pretty darn close as far as line width. So if you're wondering which one to get, uh, you know, the extra fine Pelican and the fine Pilot are pretty darn close to each other. Let's see if I can get some more of the writing sample in the same frame there. So pretty darn close to each other, but I do feel the Pelican wins on smoothness. This one just is a little bit scratchy. Let's continue with another nib property, which is wetness. I kind of gave it away in the previous one. Um, I did just fill the pilot. Um, so it just probably is a touch wetter right now, but I'll let you know it's always like that. Anyways, you get good coverage. Again, for an extra fine, you're not going to have a gusher by any means, but it does the job. And usually if you're getting an extra fine, you don't want a super wet nib anyways. Um, but with the Pilot, this is the wettest fine nib I have. Well, <laughs> outside of the Visconti Homo sapien, but that's not even a fine nib, even though it is. So you can see significantly more wet. Now it's probably maybe a touch exaggerated because I did just ink it. Um, but there you go. So a win for wetness on the pilot if you like a wetter nib. How much do they weigh? Let's take a look. Here's the 805. Let's call it 30 grams. Unposted. 21. Let's do the pilot. So 30 and 21. 30. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, is it, it going to keep rolling on me? Oh, we got it. So, so pretty darn close. <laughs> Tie. All right. So which one's better? I don't know. That's uh, really up to you. But let's look at the scorecard really quick. If you were keeping score, um, the size, they're pretty close to each other. As far as nib look and options, um, I think there's just a slight win on the Pelican. I think the nib looks a little bit better and I think the options are a little easier to come by. The feel, 
Pelican wins on that one. Uh, again, mine just might be, my pilot could just be an outlier on the scratchiness, but who knows? That's, it is what I got. Wetness, the pilot definitely wins. As far as looks, I put a tie. They're, they look very different, and they each do their own look very well, right? But as far as options on that look, the Pelican does win. There are more options. Build quality is a tie. They're both fantastic. I showed you that. Cleaning, I think maybe a slight, a little bit of a win on um, uh, the Pelican. Although it's not crazy tricky. It's hard to clean a Twisby filling system, I find. Like, say, if you have an Eco versus this one here for Demonstrator, it's really not that bad. But maybe a slight win for the Pelican. But... I don't know which one, which pen won. It's a personal choice. I did this one because I thought maybe you're comparing these. You're thinking of getting this one or this one. Don't know. Let's just do a comparison so you can, uh, maybe that helps you with the decision process. You can't go wrong with either pen. They're both built very well. As far as which one do I prefer, I like them both. I just feel I use the Pelican more. And I think the only reason that is, um, to me, it's a little bit too wet for a fine, right? There's nothing wrong with it, but just for my personal preference, I think it's a touch too wet, but also too, the nib's just a little bit scratchier than what I like. So um, if that got resolved, would I use it more? I don't, I don't know, maybe, but I just do find I go for the Pelican a little bit more often. But anyways, that's my personal choice. Hope you enjoyed our pen battle, classic edition, the M805 versus the A23. Hope that helps you out. Comment, like, subscribe. Catch you guys later.